My most popular YouTube video is this one here on how to fix duplicate product URLs in Shopify. Now, before I get into the detail, what I'll do is show you what that looks like. So if you're in at an e-commerce site and you wanna navigate through to a collection, say, and then in that collection, I'll click through to a product URL. You see this URL here, it is a duplicate URL. It's not the actual Shopify product URL, which is much shorter. This URL contains the collection by which I navigated to the product in the URL. It's a duplicate URL, we wanna remove it. Right? Now the code fix that I provided in a previous video was to navigate to a specific file called productgrid.item and in the uh, code here where it talks about product URL within a collection, the fix was to simply remove this reference to within collection. Right? I'll do that fix just to give you an example. So in this case here, I'll navigate into the back end of my Shopify site, click on the themes, come over to the actual theme section itself, click on these three little dots, click on edit code. Now, in, in the back end, I've got to navigate down to snippets where I know this liquid code exists. Scroll down and I'm looking for that product grid item liquid. Click on that and within here is this bit of offending code. I'm just going to search for within collection, which will make it easier and highlight that. Let's just pop it in here. I'll go control F down in this dialog box here. Search for that. And there it is. You'll see this is the code that I need to fix. So all I need to do to get rid of that duplicate URL is to delete this section within collection, including that pipe and that space. Click Save. I should have warned you before you edit any of this backend code, copy it all and save it. Make a backup before you edit the code. Apologies, in my rush to get this video out, I didn't tell you. Anyway, now that I fixed that code, go back to the website, click on the home page, Let's navigate through to the collection itself and then down to a product, all right? Boom, you see now that collection is missing from the product URL, it is a shorter URL, that's the fix. But the issue was that the file that I was telling people to look for, product grid item, didn't exist on some themes. In uh, other themes, it was to be found in the collection template.liquid. But I found a, uh, a catch-all way, for example, for you to find that offending code. And the way to do this is to search through all of this um, code for that snippet of text. The issue is out of the box, this search files feature here in Shopify is terrible. It doesn't actually let you search within the files. It only searches for the files. So the way that you want to fix that is to install a Chrome extension called Shopify theme file search, right? And what that does is if you look at this list here, you can see now that I've added that extension, you have this search box at the top there. And this search box will allow you to search through every, every bit of code in that Shopify theme in the code itself and find the offending code. So in, in this case here, I'm gonna search for all, um, all files that contain this product URL within collection, right? Which is what I wanna edit. I wanna see where that is located. And boom, you see success, two files, and the two files are identified here. So there's something in the footer.liquid, right? And if I scroll down, product grid.item, it's in there as well, all right? So that's how you use um, the Shopify theme file search to find that bit of offending code and you can fix it in the back end. Saves you a bit of time because I guarantee in someone else's theme, uh, the product grid item liquid don't exist or the collection dot template dot liquid won't exist. And that's what you do. You use this Shopify file theme search extension to find that code and then you'll know the different places and then you can start playing with it to tweak it. But remember, before you edit any specific liquid code, take it back up, back it up. All right, hope that was helpful. Thanks so much.